Hi guys, it's Lunar here. Welcome back to today's brand new mod video. As always, if you have not done so, check out the other mod video from today for another six new mods to look at. In this video, we have six mods released today or yesterday, as I kind of missed some mods from yesterday. First guys, I want to say that I want to start doing some more single mod showcases, so three mods in the video could have their own video as well. So the new mods videos are kind of an update for all the new mods out and an overview and showcase of those mods, but I don't really want to go into a lot of detail for those mods as some of them are really big and I can't really showcase all of them, so I will make them their own separate videos. Some of them only may be a few minutes long, but I think it's worth doing as some of them are cool mods and they deserve their own showcase, like the one that we did the other day for Windfall Island. I can't guarantee loads of single showcase mods, but I will try if I have spare time. Well, anyway, let's get into this and we can jump into our first mod. Our first mod of the day is called Quest Debugger. This mod is a very useful one and a handy one for anyone who's having any issues with any quests. So with the mod, you can now restart a section of a quest, complete an entire quest and other quest related things. When you get the mod installed, you will get a book telling you exactly how the mod works, although it can be a bit confusing. Using the spell will bring up an inventory, and this allows you to do different things. Now, I'm not going to go over the actual in detail of how the mod works, as it can take a while, but I might do a small guide on this one, as it's quite confusing. But the mod allows you to essentially complete any quest in game, either one you have started yourself, or you can search for one using the quest IDs, which the mod author has put a link in the description on the Bethesda website, with all the numbers you need to search for quests if you want to. So a really handy mod that will help you with any quest in game if you're having problems, or you just want to skip past a quest in game as well. Although keep in mind guys that if you do use this, that you won't get any of the quest related items. So the game will think that your quests are completed, but you won't have any of the items from doing those quests. So keep that in mind. Our next mod is another mod from Aaron Dominion, adding into Skyrim 22 brand new high elf NPCs. All of these elves can be recruited and come with regular level up to level 81, just the same as the other mods did, and they are all essential, good at one-handed, archery, light armor and sneak. Again, I'm not going to tell you guys the name of all of these high elf characters, not with names like Lilin, Tiersenon, Stormyth, as we'd be here all day, but I can tell you exactly where to find all of them. There are two in the Dark Brotherhood, two in Dawnstar, one in Iberstead, two in Morthal and Riften, one in Riverwood, two in Solitude, three in Whiterun, and finally four in Winterhold. All of them can be married if you like the look of them. Alright guys, our next mod is one for anyone who is impartial to the war and doesn't want to take sides with the Stormcloaks. The mod basically makes the player home in Windhelm Hjerim neutral, meaning you no longer have to worry that you can't purchase it if you've sided with the Imperials. House can be simply purchased now after completing the quest Blood on the Ice. Everything else about the house is exactly the same. Our next mod is another awesome one that has been ported over from PC to Xbox and it's Unique Grasses. The mod completely changes the look of the grass in game and we can actually find out the exact difference from the vanilla version. So the mod completely redistributes all grass types to be more natural. All grass textures and their colours have been changed to match the Skyrim environment better. And finally the mod adds and edits loads of plants, grasses and other stuff to make Skyrim look much cooler. If I have time, I might go over this one in a bit more detail as well, as I think it deserves its own showcase, and I will have to search through Skyrim on all the different places to try and find all the different things that has changed. But there are loads of different plants and grasses that have been altered in some way or another to make the game look much cooler. So definitely a mod worth downloading, and it works with other grass-related mods, such as the lush overhaul of your grass and plants. So that's really awesome. Our next mod is another armor from Dark Souls. The mod adds a set of heavy armor for your male characters only, two weapons and a shield from the Dark Souls series. You can find them inside the Whiterun catacombs, which is part of the Hall of Dead of the city of Whiterun. The armor is not a single piece, but instead is separated into gauntlets, boots and cuirass with their own proper inventory icon and world model, although you do get the set outfit as well. And the reason that they are all in separate parts is so you can enchant all the different pieces if you want to. Although the good thing about having two is you can give the set outfit to a follower if you want to. The armor and weapons are all temperable, so upgradable with steel ingots. Its armor rating is about the same as steel plate armor. The weapons though are fairly powerful and are better than any of the vanilla weapons in game. It comes with two different types of helmets, again, like the previous armor we saw in our other video today. The first one is closed, more protective and hides most of your character's face, whereas the second one is semi-open, a tiny bit less protective, and you can clearly see the face of your character. So I have to say these Dark Soul armors are definitely amazing looking and worth downloading for yourself. Our final mod is called Landlord. This is an awesome mod that allows you to invest in property in game, develop your income from that property, and it also gives you a place to store your money. All of this stuff will of course require you to have lots of gold. 
So the way that this mod works is that you have to first travel to a store in game that you wish to purchase. I chose the Apothecary in Whiterun. The merchant should now come up with the option to talk about business. You will then get a choice to purchase that business and this one here, the Apothecary, cost me 11,000 gold, so it's not a small amount. Now I have my store, not only do I receive a 10% discount on goods, but once a week I get a percentage of that store's income. Now one thing you can do with this mod is you can try to make more income from the store that you just purchased. So head over to the East Empire Trading Company and you can set up a trade network. Getting your goods easier and cheaper will give you more profit. Of course, you have to fork out a lot of gold for a sab fee initially, so keep that in mind. Finally, head over to the Markarth Treasury and open up a bank account for another 2,000 gold. You can spend 3,000 gold to deposit the deeds to the stores that you just purchased. The good thing about this is, while it does cost a lot of money to begin with, from now on, instead of traveling to all the stores that you just purchased to collect the money from them each week, the bank will collect the money automatically and deposit it into your account so long as you have the store shop's deed here. So that's where the 3,000 gold costs. The bank is a good idea as not only is it a good place to store money, but you also get a 1% interest rate per month on gold in your account over 6,000 septums. So you can make profit from interest as well. It's a big initial investment, but over time you should start to make money back easier and eventually to make profit from your businesses. Though one of my favorite mods so far in game, I love to invest in stores and run a business in game and that kind of stuff. And again guys, I might go over this mod in a bit more detail in its own video if I have time. Well, there we have it, six brand new console mods for you to download and try it for yourself if you like the look of them. If you enjoyed today's video though, as always, like, comment and subscribe. Remember to stay awesome and I will catch you all next time.